Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to show you my celebrity fragrance collection. So, um, I have smelled so many celebrity fragrances. I've owned quite a few in my time, and these are the ones, these are like my favorites. These are my kind of ride or die celebrity fragrances. Some of these I only keep for the bottles, but some of them I really, really love. It's funny because every time I go to pull my celebrity fragrances, it always surprises me by how many I actually have because I'm not like a huge fan of celebrity fragrances. I don't collect them. Um, it's They're just not anything that I'm usually after. But, um, you know, if I come across one and it's good, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna keep it because I really enjoy some of them. But these are some of my favorites. I've got a ton. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on each one because I do have a lot. Uh, but I am gonna jump right in. Okay, so let's start with one of my absolute favorite celebrity scents. I think this perfume is phenomenal. Um, this is Kate Walsh Boyfriend. This is the original formulation, which is why I keep it in its box. I only wear this maybe once a year because you cannot get the original formulation anymore, and I only have a half ounce bottle. Um, I need to go ahead and pick up the new formulation because I've got a couple of samples of the new formulation and it is also fantastic. It's so good. So um, I feel like if I picked up a bottle of the new formulation then I wouldn't feel so like afraid to use um, to use the original formulation, but I love this. This is like uh, plum and myrrh. It's got some kind of a night blooming, maybe night blooming serious. It's got a night blooming floral in it. It's gorgeous. It's one of the best celebrity scents literally ever made. It's so good. It rivals, you know, high end fragrances as far as how it smells, how it performs. It's so good. So, anyways, that is Kate Walsh Boyfriend. Okay, and then I've got some Sarah Jessica Parker scents. I've got four here, and I've got one in my declutter pile because. Um, if you saw the What I Wore Last Week video, it's been probably a month ago or so, where I re -wore, where I wore um, SJP NYC Crush fragrance. Uh, sadly, I think my skin chemistry has changed and that does not smell good on me anymore, so I went ahead and decluttered it. Um, but I do have, um, I've got SJP NYC Pure Crush, which I really, really love. I do need to test this though because I am a little bit afraid that if that one smells bad on me, that this one might too. But this is a different kind of coconut. That's more of like a coconut cream, like gourmand, delicious, sweet coconut, you know, cream pie type scent. And this is more of like a watery, um, like a watery fresh coconut. It's really gorgeous. I love this one. Um, I've also got two versions of uh, SJP NYC. So this is the original formulation. This is the new formulation. I actually prefer the new formulation in this case. Um, the differences are very subtle, but the new formulation, yes, the new formulation, the strawberry is way more prominent in this. This kind of smells like gummy bears or like a, just kind of like a nondescript sweet candy, whereas this smells like straight up wild strawberry. Um, they're both delicious, I love them both, but the new formulation is so good with that wild strawberry note. So I've got those. And then the last one that I have, I think I'm gonna end up decluttering this. I bought this and then I never wore it. So if I never wore it and never reached for it, then that tells me I was just not excited to wear it. Plus I'm just not a fan of like, light, fresh type fragrances. This is Sarah Jessica Parker uh, Stash Privé. And this is, it's really beautiful. Oh, it's really beautiful. It's light, it's delicate, it's clean, it's gorgeous, but it's not my kind of scent. I don't, I finally come to terms with the fact that I don't like fresh fragrances. I don't wanna smell fresh, I don't wanna smell like a clean girl, I, it's just not my thing. Um, and this is definitely like a clean girl kind of scent. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one, but I do have it. Okay, and then I've got a couple of Naomi Campbell scents. I've got just the original Naomi Campbell, which I really like this one. Um, this one smells really good on skin. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's just kind of like a nondescript kind of perfumey fragrance, but smells really good on skin. 
And then this one was just sent to me uh, from somebody. This is Naomi Campbell Pret-a-Porter. And I haven't worn this yet. Oh, this is another kind of, kind of clean, warm floral. Really pretty. Naomi Campbell has some really beautiful scents, so I really like those. Um, I've got a couple of Nicki Minaj scents. So I've got um, Nicki Minaj Onika, which I really love. Ugh, they both have star fruit in them. This one I think has some caramel or something in the base. This one's delicious and sweet and smells like something yummy you want to eat. And I might be in the minority, but I absolutely love the Nicki Minaj bottles. I think they are so cute. Um, they're really well made for being like, I don't know, they're really well made. They're very heavy. I love that the hairlines like fit the shape of the bottle perfectly. Um, the the print on it is done really well. Like this doesn't chip, nothing. It, they're just really nice bottles. I just really enjoy them. Um, and then I've got Pink Friday, which is kind of more of a fun scent. This is kind of like a fruity, yeah. This is fruity and sweet and kind of vanillic and delicious. I love my Nicki Minaj scents. I think they're beautiful. So those are those. I've got these Katy Perry scents. I bought these just for the bottle. I couldn't care less about the scent inside. The scents are okay. They're very mediocre. Um, this is Katy Perry Meow. I absolutely adore this bottle though. If I could have just bought the bottles with no perfume inside, I would have done that, but I hate the thought of these going bad, um, especially if there's somebody out there that would like, you know, that would like to actually wear the perfume. So that is Meow. Um, and then I've also got Purr. And I love this bottle the most. I love the dark, the really dark purple bottle. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, they smell fine, but the bottles are where it's at with these ones. They're so cute. Okay. Oh gosh, I've got so many. Okay, I've got a Michael Blue Bla Blue Bla <laughs> a Michael Buble fragrance. This is called By Invitation. Um, I really like this fragrance. Yeah, I really like this one. This is kind of more grown woman smelling. It's sweet. It's kind of like a grown woman sweet vanillic floral. I really like this. This one's, this one is kind of like magic on my skin. It just smells really good once it's on. Um, I found it for like $5 at Ross and I had already had a sample of it so I knew I liked it and yeah, I really, really enjoy this one though. So that is by invitation from Michael Buble. Um, I've got the original Jennifer Aniston fragrance. I absolutely adore this perfume but oh my gosh, I love this fragrance. I wish that somebody would remake this perfume and it be a fragrance that actually performs because I can get all of maybe five minutes on the, I mean, I'm not even exaggerating either. Like I can spray this on and five minutes later, it's completely gone. It is worse than a body spray. Um, it's so bad, but I absolutely adore this fragrance. It smells like, like a light 80s beachy floral. It's so good. It's delicious. I love this. But yeah, the longevity on this is the worst. This is probably the worst performing fragrance in my collection. But it smells incredible. So that is the original Jennifer Aniston. Okay, I've got a couple of Jennifer Lopez scents. I've got Jennifer Lopez uh, JLo Glow. Love this. This is a clean, soapy, warm musk fragrance. Smells incredible on my skin. Um, and then I've got JLo Still. This is my favorite Jennifer Lopez scent, or Jennifer Lopez Still, I should say. Gosh, this is a gorgeous, soft, vanillic tea scent. It's clean, it's warm. It's like the ultimate perfect get out of the shower and spray something on and you're just gonna smell incredible. Um, and I love it because I, I'll tell you, I'm not a clean girl scent kind of person. You know, I'm not like a clean girl scent kind of girl, but if it's a clean scent that has a warmth to it or that really like radiates off the skin, that's a different, that's a different story. I love scents like that. 
and that's what Jennifer Lopez still is like. It's gorgeous, so there's that one. Okay, I've got one Mariah Carey scent, and it is M by Mariah Carey. I have not worn this in a long time. I used to wear the heck out of it. I've got, it's about half gone, but then a few years ago, I just quit wearing it all together, and I don't know why. I think because little tiny bottles like this get lost in my collection. Ugh, this is a really interesting scent, though. It's got like sea notes and wood notes and I think some marshmallow in it. I don't know, it's warm and delicious and I really like it. So that is Mariah Carey M. Ooh, I forgot, I've got Prince too. I've got the Prince perfume. I think it's 30, ooh, I can't remember what it's called but I forgot to pull it so just note that I have the Prince perfume as well. It stinks, it doesn't smell good. I only bought it because it's the Prince perfume but it does not smell good at all. Okay, um, I've got it. I think this is the only Taylor Swift fragrance I've got. Yeah, I think the other Taylor, all the other Taylor Swift fragrances I have are in like pen spray form. Um, but this is Enchanted Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. This is nice. It just smells like a, kind of like a warm vanilla fragrance. It's really pretty. Lasts all of like five seconds on. So yeah, I just keep it mostly for the bottle because it's a holographic red bottle and I love that. And it does smell, yeah, it does smell really good. It smells almost like it could have like a synthetic cherry in it or something. I don't know. I like it. So that's uh, Taylor Swift. Sorry, it's Wonderstruck Enchanted. It's not Enchanted Wonderstruck. <laughs> okay, and then I've got, I've got a bunch of Paris Hilton fragrances, but these are the only two full bottles that I have. All of the other ones are like minis or half ounce bottles. Um, I've got Paris Hilton Platinum Rush. This, um, this was sent over from um, Among the Stars Perfume. I love him. Oh, this one is beautiful. This is clean and it's got a little bit of that warm kind of fuzzy ambrette um, in it and it's a little bit fruity, a little bit floral, clean. It's really gorgeous. And then he also sent Gold Rush, which I absolutely adore this too. Ugh, Gold Rush is kind of light it's kind of like a light, sweet caramel kind of fragrance. It's really gorgeous, or light, sweet, kind of fruity caramel. Really pretty. So that is Goldra, and I absolutely love the Paris Hilton bottles. Um, the Rush bottles, these dresses, I think they're so fun. Okay, this next one, I never even bring this perfume out, and I never talk about it on my channel because it is so controversial. Um, which to me is just stupid. It just shows, well, I don't even want to get into it. it. Just shows you how uncivilized we've gotten as people that we can't even talk about a perfume without, you know, somebody losing their crap, but which inevitably I'll get a comment on this video or somebody has lost it over this, but um, I've got the Ivanka Trump <laughs> fragrance. I really like this fragrance. This was uh, recommended to me from a subscriber years and years ago. Um, and I picked it up off of Amazon for really cheap. I, this, I think this has gotten really hard to find, but this is a really pretty perfume. It's a really light, kind of slightly sweet, really inoffensive, like clean floral. It's really beautiful. It's almost got kind of a slight tea-like quality to it. It's really beautiful. I love it. Yeah, it's gotten really difficult to find though. Um, and I never pull it out and I never talk about it, but it is a celebrity scent and it is part of my collection. So um, anyways, that is the Ivanka Trump fragrance. Okay, and then I've got all my Britney Spears fragrances. Now, I have more Britney Spears fragrance than any other celebrity. Um, I've got this beauty, which was sent over to me. This is um, this is Britney Spears Curious. I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, I forgot just how much I actually love this until I pulled it out the other day and I sprayed it on my hand. And I love this. This is one of like the OG celebrity scents. Um, this has been everybody's signature at some point, and. Like, so many people have worn this. This is beautiful. This is like a sweet tuberose. I'm sorry, I've got the kettle going in the background. I hope that it doesn't. I hope that you can't hear that kettle. 
But if you can, it's the tea kettle in the background. I've got to make sure I let some tea. But anyways, yeah, this is a beautiful, sweet tuberose. It's gorgeous. I love it. And the bottle is so cute. Um, I have got Midnight Fantasy, which is a gorgeous, like, clean berry fragrance. Yes, clean berries. This is a Halloween fragrance for me. I absolutely love it. The bottle reminds me of Halloween. It's beautiful. I've got Fantasy Stage Edition. This is the original formulation of Fantasy, so... This is more of the, uh, this is delicious. This is more of the like white chocolate cupcake and raspberry or white chocolate cupcake and frosting and less kiwi. It's delicious, I love it. This one's really hard to find too. And then I've got the new formulation of Fantasy. My beautiful friend Jacqueline sent me this huge bottle of it. Um, this is straight up kiwi. Yeah, the new formulation has a ton of kiwi in it. It's yummy. It's really yummy. It's like kiwi and cake. Delicious. So that is the new formulation of fantasy. And then I've got prerogative. This is supposed to be a unisex scent, but I wouldn't, this is very feminine. Like you, I mean, any, I feel like anybody should wear whatever they feel like wearing, like, you know, but traditionally, this smells very traditionally feminine. But this is really beautiful. It's not, um, it's not terribly unlike Private Show. It's just like a lighter version of Private Show, but it's got coffee in it. But to me, it really is kind of like a lighter version of Private Show, which speaking of Private Show, I've got this big, huge, beautiful tester bottle that somebody sent over to me. This is probably my favorite Britney Spears fragrance. Um, I absolutely love it. It's like a creamy, it's like a creamy coffee fragrance. It is delicious. I love it. And then the last Britney Spears fragrance I have is Britney Spears VIP private show. I also absolutely love this. This is delicious. This smells like, this smells like fruity candy. Like really sweet, sugary, fruity candy. I love it. It smells so good. I'm not a huge fan of fruity fragrances, but this one, there's something about this one. It's so sugary smelling. Um, I don't know. It's delicious. It smells like more, it smells more like candy than fruit. Um, so that is Britney Spears VIP private show. Okay, then I've got a couple of Kim Kardashian scents. I've got Kim Kardashian Pure Honey. This is another one of my absolute favorite. This is probably my most favorite celebrity scent ever. Like, um, I think this is one of the best celebrity scents on the market, hands down. This is phenomenal. It is like a sweet white floral and honey perfume. It reminds me of something from my childhood in the 80s. I've never been able to really put my finger on it, but it reminds me of something from my childhood like maybe a toy or a doll or makeup that I had. Um, I just, I don't even know. But it's got some kind of a scent memory for me. But I love it. One of the best performing celebrity scents too. This thing is an absolute monster on me. Um, and I just love it. I think the bottle looks beautiful. It's just a pain in the butt to spray. But yeah, amazing. And then the other Kim Kardashian scent that I have is this one here called Fleur Fatale. This is a really beautiful, uh, this is a really beautiful light soapy rose scent. It's stunning. This is another one that I absolutely adore the bottle. I think the bottle is so pretty. I mean, really, really beautiful. So that is Kim Kardashian Fleur Fatale. I've got, I've got quite a few Gwen Stefani fragrance. Well, not quite a few. I've got this one and I've got a couple other Gwen Stefani fragrances, but I just pulled this one to represent Gwen Stefani. Um, this is Harajuku Lovers. This is the G, I can't remember what the, they're, the metal ones are like a different, like a different new line. This is like a coconut. It's like a coconut scent, but mine smells really, really synthetic. I've tried, this has been in my project pan and I've been trying to get through this, but I just can't wear it. I think I'm gonna end up just decluttering it 
um, and letting it go because I know that there are a lot of people out there that this perfume smells really, really good on them. It just smells way synthetic to me, but it is a really nice coconut perfume. It's like a strong coconut perfume. Um, I've got this one. I've got baby or I've got G, but not in this line. And then I've got um, music in the big ones. But anyways, yeah, I've got those. Uh, this next one, this is another one of my most favorite celebrity scents ever. This is Sofia Vergara Love. Um, sadly, this is another perfume that's gotten difficult to find. Um, I love this. Gosh, this is such a yummy, warm, coffee, caramel, or coffee and toffee, like caramel coffee kind of scent. It's really rich and warm and sweet and cozy and delicious smelling. I used to get so many comments or compliments when I used to wear this fragrance to work back when I worked. Um, I used to get so many compliments. People absolutely love this fragrance, especially men, but I also got compliments from women just because it smells delicious. Um, sadly, this one's gotten very difficult to find, uh, which I hate because this is an amazing celebrity scent, like one of the best. So anyways, that is uh, Sofia Vergara Love. Next, I have got, um, this is Unbreakable Love from Chloe and... Lamar, Chloe and Lamar, Unbreakable Love. I don't follow the Kardashians at all, so I don't even know how I know how I know this, but this is a little underrated gem. Oh my gosh. This is a beautiful, warm, soft, fuzzy, sweet, slightly woody fragrance. It is perfect in hot weather. It's it's such a good one. I picked this up for like three dollars or something crazy it's really nice though it's like way nicer than you would expect um so anyways that is unbreakable love from chloe and lamar i've got this one this is hello from lionel richie my beautiful friend jacqueline sent this over this is nice it's kind of like a syrupy floral it's kind of like a sweet almost plummy floral yeah, like a sweet plummy floral. That's what it reminds me of. It's actually really, really nice. Um, the bottle is horrendous, <laughs> but the fragrance inside is really pretty. So that is Hello from Lionel Richie. Okay, next I've got Justin Bieber, The Key. I love this one. I also have Collector's Edition, but that one, I, it's in my declutter pile because it smells terrible on me now. It smelled so cheap. You know when your kid tells you you smell bad that you smell bad, and mine definitely was like, Mom, you smell cheap. Last time I wore that, so I was like, oh no, something has changed, it never used to smell like that on me. Um, but thankfully, I tested the key not long after, and the key still smells amazing on me. So yeah, super excited that this one smells good. I also have Pitbull, which I really love this one. Um, I just wore this one not too long ago as well, and this, this is a really beautiful, like, kind of shampoo-y, warm floral. I get compliments on this one, too, when I wear it. It's, it's just one of those fragrances that just smells really nice and people really, really enjoy. So anyways, that is Pitbull. Okay, this next one, I didn't know if I should include this as a celebrity scent, but I'm going to because I don't know what how else you would classify this. This is the James Bond 007 perfume. Um, I feel like this is a celebrity scent. It's, you can't really classify it as anything else. Um, gosh, I love this. This is another kind of sweet, dark berry scent. It's really, really beautiful. I don't know why I'm being, I'm kind of anosmic to this right now. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've sprayed so many other things, but I'm not smelling anything right now. Like I can't smell this at all right now, but I know that it's like a really beautiful, sweet berry scent, like a sweet, dark berry. It's gorgeous. It's, it smells so much more expensive than it is. Um, and I really love this one. And I really, really love the bottle on this one. It's so good. 
So anyways, that is the James Bond 007 perfume. And then last but not least, I have a Rachel Zoe fragrance. This is Rachel Zoe Instinct. I love this one. This one is kind of similar to the Jennifer Aniston fragrance, but I think this one has got some Lily of the Valley in it. Jennifer Aniston might too, but I don't think so. I think hers is more like jasmine, and I think hers is a jasmine fragrance. Um, this one smells more like a Lily of the Valley fragrance, but it's that same kind of light, 80s smelling floral. And I absolutely adore this. This is my favorite from the Rachel Zoe line. I think it's the best one. It's really nice. This one lasts a little, or this one performs a little bit better than the Jennifer Aniston one, but not much. Um, it still doesn't perform great, but I do love it. It's really, really nice. So that is Rachel Zoe Instinct. And yeah, guys, those are the majority of my celebrity scents. Um, I think the stands, standouts are Kim Kardashian Pure Honey and Kate Walsh Boyfriend. Those are my two favorites. I think the best quality and just the best celebrity scents on the market. Um, I would love to hear about your favorite celebrity scents in the comments down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.